This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. One of the difficulties that a lot of first-time users have with 3D applications is that you've only got a 2D representation of your scene on screen. So you have to find ways to visualize the 3D world within a 2D screen. In this section, we're just going to look at options to move the camera around the scene, which will bring that three-dimensionality to life. The camera controls are here on the left-hand side of the screen in the middle. There are various ways to access the camera options. Some are more useful than others, but we'll have a look at each one in turn. And the first way is to click on the icon and then manipulate the scene. And you can see there the cursor has actually changed to indicate the option that you've got. The three track options which allow you to move left, right, up, down, in, out. And you've got two combinations of each of those within each of these track options. So here, by dragging left and right, we can move in and out of the scene. And we can also move the camera up and down. The second option allows us to move up, down, left and right. And the third option to move in and out of the scene by dragging up and down. And we've got left and right moves there as well. If we click on the dolly, then this moves the camera around the scene, pointing at the same object. So if you have an object selected here, and we've got the cornet selected, then you can move around the scene, but the camera always carries on pointing at that particular object. If we select one of the spheres, then we can see that sphere stays in the same place while rotating the scene. There's a different way of doing this, which is to keep the camera in the same place and rotate the scene as if turning your head. And that's one of the sub options here. So if we hold the mouse over that, we can select the pan option. That just keeps the camera in the same place in 3D space and changes your view accordingly, as if turning your head. There's a final option there, which is bank, which tilts the camera. So you might want to use that for special effects. I'll just put that back to Dolly. Now, so far, we've been clicking on each of those options and then using the cursor accordingly. But doing that means that then you have to go back to the editing tool that you were using previously. So there's a lot of mouse clicks and moves involved in using them that way. If I just select that as a move. The other way of doing it is to click and hold and drag on those particular icons. And then you don't actually select the scene, but you can move your camera around. And the same editing facility is still available. But there is an even easier way of doing it and that's to use a keyboard shortcut. And if there's one keyboard shortcut that I would really encourage you to learn when using Carrera, it's these particular shortcuts that allow you to move the camera around your scene because it's by far the most efficient and effective way of doing it. And if you're editing a particular object, you can do it while not deselecting the editing option that you're using. And these options use the Alt key on a PC or the Option key on a Mac. So we've got Alt or Option and the left hand mouse button will have the dolly option, which is to rotate around the object that you've got selected in your scene. Alt or Option and the right hand mouse button will pan your camera up, down, left and right. And then to zoom in and out, that depends on the particular configuration that you've got. If you've got a track wheel on your mouse, then you can use that to zoom in and out of your scene or move the camera in and out of your scene. If you've got a three button mouse, you can use Alt or Option and the middle mouse button. On a two button system, you can just select Alt or Option and both of the buttons to move the camera in and out of your scene. And as I say, I'd really encourage you to get used to using those particular keyboard shortcuts as it will really enhance your productivity in using Carrera.